integrating by parts. Uh, this is a formula. You can read that. Uh, I have gone over uh, this formula in my previous videos. Uh, and this is basically, once again, repeating myself. This is nothing but the product rule or integrating. Uh, when you integrate the product rule, you get this. Now, it's very easy to remember this uh, formula. Uh, you start like this. You consider, you take one of the function as x and the other function as t dash x. Okay, and uh, here it doesn't matter. Both can be considered as f of x or g dash x. Uh, but as a rule of thumb, uh, the function which can not be uh, different, cannot be differentiated easily, should not be considered as g dash x. That should be considered as f of x. Here both can be integrated. So I have taken the first function as f of x and the second function as g dash x. Now this is a double angle formula that is cos. Uh, you it's you can't integrate this directly easily, so uh, it's reducing the power using the double angle formula. We know that cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. So 2 sine squared x is 1 minus cos 2x and dividing both sides by 2 sine x the sine squared x is half minus half cos x. So if f of x is x, f dash x is 1. Okay, so this sine squared x changes to uh, half minus half uh, cos 2x. Now uh, that is easy to integrate. So when you integrate both sides, when you integrate g dash x dx, I mean, integrating with respect to x, this becomes g, g of x. So g of x is integration of half is half x minus integration of uh, cos 2x is, uh, you have got the factor 2 inside, so to multiply by half, so half times half becomes quarter. And, uh, and again, this is uh, the reverse chain rule. So this is a quarter sine 2x. Okay. So now using the formula, so we can say integration of x sine squared x dx is equal to f of x times g, g of x. So this is your f of x. Let me use a different, yeah, this is, this is the f of x. And this is my g, g of x minus integration of integration of f dash x so this is your f dash x and this is your g of x so i've used the uh, integrating by parts formula so this is f dash x g of x so this is f dash x and this is g of x okay so now this expanding this with uh, x you got x squared over 2 minus x over 4 sine 2x and now you are distributing the integration so you can say minus half integration of x dx plus this negative and negative becomes plus one quarter sine mm, 2x so this is the same and integration of x is x squared over 2 and you got a half here so that's why x squared over 4 plus 1 quarter when you're integrating you have to integrate the inside first so integration of say mm, integration of 2 uh, no, integration of you have to apply the uh, reverse chain rule so I put a half times integration of sine x is minus cos 2x okay that becomes this is the same so i have grouped this with this okay so it's x squared over 2 minus x squared over 4 minus x over 4 this is this minus uh this is 1 8 of cos 2x okay now this simplifies to x over 4 minus x over 4 sine 2x and this is your answer okay now 
I like to check whether my integration is right by differentiating this. So I differentiated this. So I applied the derivative operator to each of the uh, on each of the terms. So when I differentiate this, you get 2x over 4 minus here I have applied the product rule. So when you differentiate this x over 4, you get 1 quarter times sine 2x plus x over 4 times 2. So this is the chain rule. So you differentiate the inside. So when you're differentiating the inside, you have to multiply the, the derivative of 2x is 2 times the outside is cos 2x. Okay. So here, uh, and uh, the same principle applies here, minus 1 8 times 2, and derivative of cos is minus sine. And uh, what happens is this is x over 2, opening the bracket, so this is minus sine 2x over 4, minus this goes in this twice, so this is minus x over 2, sine cos 2x, this is negative and negative becomes positive, sine 2x. So this and this gets cancelled. So let me remove the wheel. You got x over 2 minus x over 2 cos 2x. I factored out an x, so that is half minus half cos 2x. And half minus half cos 2x is nothing but sine squared x. And we have got back the function. So we should really be proud. Our integration.